Hello, it's Tuli Tuli, and we're going to go over some of my most recent pickups. This was not all picked up at the same time. I did make separate stops for these, and I got them at different places. So I just threw them in a bag so I wouldn't get them mixed up with anything else. So I knew which ones were the new, and I could share them with you. All right, so I have a mystery gold here. We're not going to go over that in this video, but the reason it's out is because I did pick up four ounces of fractional with it and the my favorite fractional that i picked up see it's so it's like so crisp everybody is this 1981 and it has the american eagle on the back half ounce and i did get a double eagle now oh, there's four of them and it says 2022 and it has the Liberty Ball on it. All right, so, and some other generics. I got those with the gold, and I can't remember what all I got when and what with what, who, <laughs> what, what. All right, I'm not gonna edit this video. I am apologize if I make any mistakes in advance because it's going on nine o'clock and it's been a very long day. And I wanna make this for you, so, all right. I am going to go with this. I went to a coin shop and I had took some silver actually that I didn't want. And I thought maybe I could trade it for something a little bit more interesting. So I have these. Okay. I've been to a few shops and all of a sudden I went from never seeing these Perth mint bars to seeing them all over the place. It's kind of bizarre, but I said, okay, I have these two at max bars. Would you trade them for these birth men? And he was like, eh, yeah, sure for you. I will. That's what happens when you're nice to your coin shop people, folks. So he could have easily probably sold these birth mints for more than the at max bar, but I have a beast hair on me. <laughs> I need to get it off. And, but I, yeah, it was an even trade. So nothing lost, nothing gained. Um, just something new to look at, which is always nice. It never hurts to like switch your stack up a little bit if you, that's what you want to do. I mean, you're not stuck with the silver you have. You could always try and trade it for something else. And it usually works. So this is a Pan American. I have a few of these. Not, they're all in tubes, but, and I like the bar in this style. They do have them in round. I have a few of those also. But for these, I prefer the bars. And I'm on the fence about removing the plastic and putting them with the other ones or keeping it in the plastic. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do know I have two Inglehart bars here. Nice toners. And grab those. Like Inglehart's, I like, I prefer the bar versus the round. But if I can get it for a good price, I'm never going to pass up an Inglehart round. Well, I have in the past, but... I try not to. All right, so I have, uh, this is a 83. And it has the biggie on the back. And then it, I have a 84 here. And it has the eagle. So adding those to the stack. What is this? I have this is Silvertown. A half ounce Silvertown. And... This is pretty cool. I thought this was pretty, I couldn't pass this one up. Look at that. This, the toning on this is amazing. And it's like higher, high relief. Look at that. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not, but check that out. Maybe, I don't know, but it looks like it's popping off the round and the back is just blank. So that was exciting to find. And Okay, I picked this up at an auction. I was going through some of the gold the other day in my original stack, and I thought I already had the links, but I guess I don't. So I picked it up on an auction. So, yeah, unfortunately, I have the Toro. I think that's what it's called. The second in the series is the Toro, if I'm saying that correctly. But I thought I had the links. I guess I don't. And if it, it's lost, I, I hope I find it. Maybe I just, you know, was mistaken. I have to look back at my list. 
but I did add this to the stack. It's kind of funny because the first piece of the series is in my second gold stack, and the second piece of this series is in my first gold stack. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, I got some other fractional silver one tenths here. Uh, that's 10 of those, just generic. And then we have an American Silver Eagle. It's a 1994. It's been a while since I picked one of these up. It hasn't been that long, but I got it for 30. I like the toning on it. And, well, sorry, I thought that was the reverse. So I scooped this up, figured that doesn't hurt. Let's get one. And then I see a lot of uh, Twin Tower rounds, but I it's the first time I've ever seen the Police Department, City of New York, Americans Finance, September 11th, 2001. And on the reverse, it says, Land of the free, home of the brave, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you read that? You shouldn't have to. You should have it memorized. But there, there it is. It's beautiful. So I decided to pick this up. And that is also getting added to the stack. I uh, think that about covers the silver. Now, I want to also include some of my coin. I'm, come on now. <laughs> I'm like trying to slide it over. It doesn't want to. All right. So. I want to include some of the reject tray finds that I have. Let me scoot this over here. So this month I didn't find all that much that was crazy. And yeah, that's about it. It's really dirty, so it's staying in the bag, everybody. <laughs> but only three, well, nickel, penny, dime, Canadian, and the rest is just really dirty American money. I'll be honest, I'm not going to go through these and look for errors or varieties. So I'm just going to probably take them to the bank and have like switch them out for dollar bill or something like that. And then, so these are my reject tray finds. I thought I'd just throw those in here. And one more thing before I say good night or good morning <laughs> to you guys because it's uh I'm filming it's Monday Monday night everybody so I'm, I want to put this out on tomorrow Tuesday morning so if you're just waking up good morning I went to the post office I had to mail two packages and I went up to the counter and the person at the counter was and um, it was a little weird today, actually, because I handed my packages to um, that person, and they waited, and then, well, let's put this in here, so, because there was an ounce of silver in it. They waited, and then they're like, well, what is this? Like, well, you know how you ask the question, is it liquid, is it fragile liquid, yada, yada, yada? And I hit no. Well, Some could say it's fragile. I just hit no. And then she was like, well, what's in here? And she's feeling around and she's like, is this a package? And I'm thinking like, well, what else would it be? I didn't say anything. I just gave uh, this person a blank stare because like, why are you asking me what's in my package? I'm not going to tell you. I, <laughs> I was just like a little baffled, like taken back. Like, what? Why are you asking me this? And I just like, gave a blank stare. I, I had so much stuff I had to get done. I'm like, I just had to like hop through it all. And um, can I just get my uh, postage and say goodbye <laughs> and then leave? So, yes, I was a little taken back. It's like, um, why are you asking me what's in my package? Don't do it. I'm not going to tell you. I mean, come on now. I just like, and stop feeling around in my package. Like, freaking like. All over, all over, my, all over my package. I'm just like, I'm just ranting now. All right. So, another thing before I left the post office is, I was told by her that I had to have a name, a, like 
you know, a name. And I've sent a lot of mail in my life and never, uh, many, I would say maybe 40% of the time I don't put a name. Like if it's an actual letter or something like that, I just leave the name blank. Not, this is like in my personal life, not on YouTube. But I was told you had to put a name. And I was just like, well, really? I never had to do that before. So I don't know if I was mailing to a post office box, if it's required for post office boxes. She's like, they might not deliver if it doesn't have a name. So it could be she was looking out for me in that aspect. So I had to take a permanent marker and write the person's name over the packing tape. Which I just like, never experienced that one before. So, I mean, if it's legit, then thank you, postal person. <laughs> I'm, I'm very exhausted, everybody. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was just a bizarre experience. Let me get that round out before, I, you know, it easily gets forgot in the package. This one is precious, so don't want that to be in the... That'd be something to find. You know how you wear, like, winter jackets and you put your hand in your pocket? It's like, oh, I found a $20 bill. Imagine finding a round coin in there. Like, finding this in, like, one of your bubblers that you go to mail out. That'd be funny if you didn't know it was there and you still mailed it out. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I hope you all have a wonderful night. A wonderful... Hope you have a wonderful morning, a wonderful evening, no matter where you are and when you're watching. I appreciate you, and goodbye.